Good morning. A glorious morning to you, Dr. Shelley. <laughs> hey, I want to continue our discussion and our conversation on career change and the craziness that people feel, especially around the holidays and times like that. And today we wanted to look more at five symptoms of being in a job you hate during the holidays. Interesting topic, right? Absolutely. And you know, I like having these conversations with you. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm my colleague is... when we have these conversations that people you know put and pull tips and you know Yes, of course. Like Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> and my colleague Maxine joins me today as we discuss the symptoms of being in a job you hate during the holidays. And some of the symptoms are increased stress. Make sense? <laughs> increased stress. And why are there stress? Because everybody has seemed to be joyful and instead you're feeling overwhelmed due to the added pressure of your work, the satisfaction. That's quite true. It's the increased, it's the increased stress comes from various points. Right. So you have, it, yes, as you said, um, you're watching everybody else seem to be happy and the question is why aren't you happy? And part exactly. of that stress, sometimes people self-impose for the season you know, during the course of the season, but also um, anticipating or, or even thinking of things that may, you know, I mean, what about the new year? Maybe I should start something new. Maybe I should do something different. You know, maybe exactly. a new year resolution <laughs> and change the job. And all those are self-imposed. Yes. <laughs> yes. And then point two is isolation and loneliness. You feel a little bit dis disconnected or alienated from your colleagues and mm. everybody else seems to be enjoying their work or taking time off. And that tends to exacerbate the mm. feeling yeah. of loneliness and isolation. I would imagine, so you can be isolated and be among, you can feel isolated, although you're among a lot of people. You know, that's that's doable, that's possible. And yes. part of that may be because the, the tension, the anxiety I'm feeling about not enjoying the job and why I look at people who seem to be enjoying, but I'm keeping it all to myself. I'm not sharing it with anyone. So that also... You know, cause a, a kind of stressful situation. Yes, indeed. Yes. And and the third point we're thinking of is increased disengagement. There's a lack of interest in work, and that can escalate because it challenges and you focus on the um contributing positively. Mm -hmm. So it like takes you. us back from um individuals who are feeling a little bit stressed during the holidays. They mm -hmm. feel disengaged. Right? And it is challenging to focus on whatever they're doing and to contribute positively. The fourth point is heightened frustration. Mm. Heightened frustration. There's a contrast <laughs> between the festive spirit and the negative feelings about work. And that can lead to frustration. Sure. Frustration. Okay. Mm. And, and and again, added to that, that, high, that frustration, that increased frustration with many situations is that... um quest to, to meet deadlines, the end of year deadlines. Right, so I'm right. not enjoying it, um, feeling stressed because I have to meet all these deadlines and doing things that I I'm no longer want to do. Exactly. <laughs> you know? yeah. so I think uh, with that example that you use, I'm thinking of um, the example of most um, executives are individuals in leadership positions who had a year end deadlines and mm -hmm. not to think about um, the accountants. Accountants, that's their time to really look at budgeting and collating all the budgets that managers prepare and bringing it close. Mm -hmm. But can you imagine if you're frustrated and you have to be doing all of that? People asking questions, enjoying themselves and so on, and you are there. Sure. So another one, is, it definitely is number five and it impacts your mental health, right? This prolonged mm -hmm. dissatisfaction Absolutely. at work during the holidays mm -hmm. can have an Exact feeling, feeling about your work, sure. along the side and on your affects your mental capacity, Absolutely. Absolutely. and it leads to add um and anxiety and depression. You feel mm. a feeling of this depression that you're going through. Sure, sure, and a series of things cause that. Eh? So I'm not happy with it. I really don't want to do the work that I'm doing now. I have to meet these deadlines. I um I can't even get the time off because the hours are long. I can't get the time right. to go and do my Christmas shopping, or yes. to attend some of the Christmas celebrations. So all yes. of these things pile up. But yes. yeah, you get into it. It is possible to become depressed. Right. 
Mm. Right. And then this goes into point six, which is strained relationships. So the stress mm. and dissatisfaction from work spill over into your personal relationships and it, uh, impact those mm -hmm. that you have at home during the holidays. Sure, sure, sure. sure. You're so stressed that, I mean, whatever happens, usually they say it don't take your work, their, your home, don't take what's happening your to work you personally to work. Yeah. Yeah. Now, in this case, the reverse also happens. Sure. Where people take, and I think that one happens in more so <laughs> and often and has, has led to many, many issues in, 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 um, in personal lives. And because we are whole persons, we cannot help. So, so vice versa, we cannot help. We cannot help. We are whole persons. So of I'm course. working long hours. I'm working long hours at something I don't really want to do. Right. I'm being criticized for not meeting the deadlines. Right. And then I get home and I literally start start snapping at everyone right. around me. Right. And that's right. how, that, that's how it right. starts. And mm -hmm. sometimes you actually meet the deadline and surpass it. And guess what? more is piled on yes. that's a reward <laughs> for doing good work that's, that's <laughs> the point the reward of work good well work. done it's more work to do <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> always heard that oh. as i always say that the more you do well it's the more they call on because yeah. then you're reliable and you they can count on you so they end up piling on more work onto you not they don't have a bad intention but that's what actually is the effect and the yeah. and the final thing is um Point seven, which is a, a sense of hopelessness. You feel stuck mm -hmm. in a job that you dislike. And mm -hmm. that might cause that feels feeling of feeling trapped in a situation That's that you can't help. That's unfortunate because when when one feels stuck, one that feeling of stuck is also goes with that fear of, of shifting, of making yes. a jump, you know. So I, yeah. I part of the feeling stuck is that I want to do something different. I, I but but I can't because I feel so so secure here, you know. Right. And the right. secure is the financial secure that yes. that that's what I can count on at the end of every pay period, you know. Right. So you're you're afraid to, to, to jump skip. And we do have a video on that that mm. we had done some discussion before yeah. about that feeling of feeling being stuck and all. So thank you very much, Maxine, for for, for being here with me and joining in with me. And of course, if anyone is feeling stuck in a job that they hate, just reach out to us because what, that's what we do. I'm a coach and Maxine is also um, a coach as well. I will ask her to just share. Um, sure. Go ahead, sure. Maxine, share. I am an executive, yes, an executive and career coach. And I particularly work with people in transition, you know, whether it's transition upwards, a transition across, or transition out. I particularly work with people like that. You can find me at www.subskillservices.com or right. on LinkedIn. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Maxine. Again, um, if you like these videos, do like and share and follow us on um on YouTube as we're doing these videos for to help and give advice to people who are going through many things at this time, especially during the holidays. Thank you again, Maxine. And I'm available at um, on LinkedIn and successfulleaders.net. Thank you. My pleasure.